everybody. I'm Vicki Liviakis. Welcome to Body Beautiful. This is the show where we talk with local professionals about the latest in cosmetic procedures and medical devices. We also take your calls live on the air. And with us today, back by popular demand, we have plastic <laughs> surgeon Dr. Elizabeth Lee. We are talking about skin rejuvenation. Also, there's a bit of a surprise that uh, even, it's even a surprise to me. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be addressing that uh, momentarily. Later, we'll be taking your calls, answering any questions you might have about skin rejuvenation. Here's the phone number, 800-440-4884. We'll also be posting the number uh, to the doctor's office, so be ready to jot th that down. And before we get started, of course, any advice we give you today, you certainly want to consult your own physician as well, just as a, you know, second opinion. Always a good idea. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. Thank you. A major concern for people, I mean, obviously, as we get older, I told you yesterday I was in the sun for about eight hours, uh, is keeping the skin looking young. And you have the secret for that. What is the secret? Well, in my office, what I love to use is what's called the Obagi New Derm um, Skin Care or Skin Health System. And it's a program that actually makes the skin healthier, reverses the changes that can occur with sun damage and with aging, so that instead of co the concept of scraping the skin so it looks mm -hmm. nice and fresh but not really treat not really treating the underlying problem we're doing something to make the skin healthier and then the side benefit of that is that you look better okay we've talked a lot on this show about laser resurfacing of course there were chemical peels right um, this is just not that at all no it okay. is not. It is something that you do at home uh, twice a day, skin care. Most women are doing something for their skin anyway. Um, and it really involves stimulating the skin to reverse these changes that have occurred with the dermis thinning and the epidermis thickening over time. So as the dermis thins, you lose collagen, elastic fibers, and all those things that hold moisture, and your skin gets drier and thinner and more wrinkled. Let me play devil's advocate yeah. just for a moment, because so many people go out, they buy products, they take them home, and the reality is, you know, a lot of take-home products really don't they, they aren't strong enough or they, you know, they might give you a little result and you think you see something, but it's exactly. microscopic. Exactly. And part, there are a couple of reasons this happens. First of all, anything you buy over the counter is what we call non-prescription strength. And so prescription strength means that it requires a doctor's supervision to work with it because it's stronger. But the most important thing that Obagi has that so far as I can tell, and I'm always doing research to see if there's anything better out there, it's the only product that has a delivery system that actually works because your skin's function as an organ is to keep things out. So when you put 0.1% Retin-A, which is a p component of the Abaji system, on your skin, you'll get some effect in the epidermis, which is the outer layer. Mm -hmm. But the dermis is that deep layer that's thinned, right. and the epidermis was doing a very effective job of keeping that, that Retin-A out. But with the Obagi system, we're getting delivery of the Retin-A to the, the dermis, and that's what makes all the difference. Okay, because I, everything I've read is that Retin-A, when they really analyze all the stuff that's out there, Retin-A is probably one of the most effective topical it's things a, that you can apply Retin -A to Retin-A is a to... fabulous stimulant, but if it's used without good penetration into the dermis, then you're only getting a partial correction and the epidermis will thin, which is what you want, mm -hmm. but you also want the dermis to be able to thicken and repair itself, and that's what happens when you get penetration into the dermis. Okay, this is one of the first times I've ever heard it described in such a way because what we notice when, if you take the same person when they're born in the day that, uh, you know, they die, the skin has you know, transformed from plump and, you know, radiant to and glowy. thin to thin and grayish mm -hmm. and dry and right and what it's happened is that the epidermis has thickened with dead skin which it has in young skin too the surface of the skin is always dead it's dead hardened epithelium but as we age that dead stuff doesn't separate as quickly and the new stuff doesn't turn over as fast so what the retin-a does in the epidermis is stimulate the deep cells to turn over more quickly and it also helps separate the the dead cells so that that you get a thin epidermis. At the same time, it's building up the dermis, stimulating the fibroblasts, so that you have a thicker, well, You've been throwing out some terms here, the yeah. dermis and the fibroblasts. Dermis yeah. is, the th yeah. is the, and the fibroblasts are the cell, dermis is the deep layer of skin, the supportive and moisturizing layer. And the fibroblasts are the cells that make collagen, elastin, and glycosaminoglycans. All right, people, are you writing this down? We've got to yeah. take a well, really quick break here. And I understand you brought a surprise. Uh, we're talking needles. We're talking about, I guess, the latest, the newest form of Botox. 
and it's evidently the new Botox. The new Botox, it's got and a you're going to see it right here <laughs> on Body Beautiful. I guess demonstrating it live in the studio, and this is a surprise to me. Uh, for more information about Dr. Lee, we're going to go to a quick break first. Five one zero seven zero four two one seven zero, or check her out on the web at artfulsurgery.com. We'll be taking your phone calls and continue our chat and uh, show you the new Botox when we come back on Body Beautiful. <laughs>